We're further ahead just killing them than trying to draw them off. It's not going to be worth the hassle. Welcome back, ladies and gents, to Ravenhurst. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we've got to figure out what we're going to do for Horde Night, because guess what? It is day 14, so damn, <laughs> I don't even know what we're going to do. I have absolutely no idea what we're going to do. Uh, yeah, so anyway, par for the course, right? All right, uh, before we get started in earnest here, I have a couple of comments that I want to address, so let me bring this up. Um, I appreciate everybody's comments. You guys left a lot of comments on the last video. Very good. Uh, just really appreciate that because, um, you know, it does help the video and the YouTube uh, algorithm, that sort of thing. Uh, but more than that, uh, I just love to hear from you. And, <clears throat> you know, you guys help me learn stuff too, especially on this mod because this mod is just so different than anything. Uh, you know, that I've attempted so far. So um, Anders left a comment and told me that the storage slash furniture option, um, which is in the workbench, uh, is the one that gives you the ability then to, <clears throat> excuse me, change the storage box to different things like the writable and so on and so forth, like you have in the, uh, you know, in the vanilla game. So appreciate that comment. Um, let's see. Terry Lynn uh, told me that in that you can actually see how many spaces the storage box has if you read the info uh, on the box. Um, RTFM again, old guy, right? <laughs> so, yeah, okay. I appreciate that, Terry Lynn. Thank you very much. Um, mean Mad Mike wanted to know if um, if we combine stuff in the workbench to repair them, if it also if we also, also, also then lose durability. Uh, I thought I tried that once, and I thought that's exactly what happened. But let's... Um, Let's see. Oh, uh, look at this, you guys. Organized storage. Isn't it just absolutely heavenly? <laughs> we got organized storage. Uh, so I picked up most of the the, ba the other bags and just put the extra stuff in here. Um, and, and, you know, I can even make more of these, of course, at some point. But I don't want to get too carried away with this because this is not going to be our permanent base. And, you know, after we get through Horde 14, I really want to start thinking about where our permanent base is going to be. Uh, so I had, you know, I left a few of the bags and stuff down here. Um, to put more stuff in, but, uh, otherwise, yeah, everything's organized. So this is food and medical. Um, this is guns, tools, ammunition. This is clothing and miscellaneous. And this is, re th these are resources and parts. Okay. Uh, so man, it just feels so good to have everything organized. Now, uh, I have a couple of, uh, of bone knives in here. So let's grab these two bone knives and let, whoop, let's go over to here. And if we, um, do, 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 how do we, how do we do that combined thing? Do we, I can't remember how to do it. There's supposed to be a way that we can combine stuff in here. Is it a modify option? I totally forgot how to do that. I know I did it very early on, um, when we first started playing Ravenhurst, but I completely forgot how to do it. So, uh, what the hell, man? So we got the knife. If equip scrap, it doesn't give me a repair option while I'm in the crafting station. Maybe it has to be in the actual tool bench, but in which case I didn't do it because I didn't have a tool bench early on. You can't put anything in here. It doesn't let you do it. Is it something you just do in your own inventory? If I just like put one on top of the other? No, that doesn't work. If we do, it doesn't give us a repair option. Scrap, equip. I don't know. Guys, I'm like totally having a brain fart here. So let me know in the comments how that works. Or I'll, uh, maybe after this episode, I'll, I'll look it up and see if I can figure it out myself. Um, I could have sworn I did that, though, uh, very early on. And and when I did combine them to repair them, I lost durability. But I I just couldn't say for sure. So anyway, um, yeah, let me know in the comments what the deal is with that, if you guys know. And I'll, I'll also try and look it up later to see if I can figure it out. Okay, let's see what else here. Um, uh, Jer Jeremy Bond, I think I think your name is pronounced Jeremy. My brother's name is Jeremy, but it's spelled in the more traditional way. Uh, if that is not the pronunciation, please let me know, bro. Uh, but he basically told me that I can make a claw hammer once. Whoops, uh, once I get to level twenty in the action skill, and uh, uh, did it, construction tool crafting. Okay. So that's going to be this. So once we get 
level 20 in construction tools. Then we can do scrap tools, unlocks the scrap axe and claw hammer. Okay, very good. Very good. Thank you for pointing this out. I, I haven't paid much attention to the action skills because what I'm kind of thinking of in my mind is that, you know, there's, they'll just come as we do them, which is true for the governing skill. But I see that you, you still have perks that you choose based upon how many points in the action skill. So I am going to definitely have to start paying more attention to that. But I really appreciate uh, Jeremy assuming, again, that's how you pronounce your name, uh, that that's what that deal is. Okay, thank you guys very much for the comments. Again, really appreciate it. Uh, appreciate comments from all of you. Um, and, uh, you know, it just it's it makes it all worthwhile, if that makes sense. And okay, guys, what in the hell are we going to do for Horde Night? Oh, my goodness. I'm going to press I for this whole entire episode. You know I'm going to do it. You know it. Okay, so let's look at our food. We have, uh, we've got a full stack of grilled fish plus six more. Um, we've got a full stack of goldenrod tea and a full stack of red tea. We're doing fine on, on food and drink. We don't need to worry about that in this episode. Uh, so I think we're good to go on that. So we really just need to figure out what we're going to do for Horde Night. I have very limited resources in terms of building stuff. Um, can I even make cobblestone? Let's, let's take a look. Okay, I can make cobblestone rocks. A pallet of cobblestone in the workbench. Okay, so I'm assuming I can make cobblestone and flagstone and upgrade it. Let's test that theory because that might change a little bit what we're going to do. Uh, so this is resources. I have Actually, I have cobblestone right there. So let's just see if we can I... There we go. Hit I again. Uh, can I hit uh, or can I make flagstone? So recipes... Shit. Okay, so we have to... Oh, my goodness. We can't. We have to have mortar, which requires cobblestone rocks, crushed sand, and murky water. From a realistic standpoint, I think that's really cool because it's more realistic. But from a, oh, shit, it's day 14 and I don't have a horde solution standpoint, this really sucks. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, you guys. Holy crap. Okay. This, this isn't going to happen. I don't see how it's going to happen. Um... Crushed sand, cobblestone rocks. I mean, we might be able to manage pulling off, you know, making a few of these. And, you know, we can get the cobblestone straight up from some of the pallets over at that building where the table saw is. So uh, we can do that. So it's a matter of making the... There, let's go flagstone block. It's a matter of making the mortar. Um, so we're going to need crushed sand and murky water. Ooh, I don't know. Um, you, okay, so we got some murky water there, and we can take jars. We have 22 jars. See, what I'm thinking here is, you know, not to do like a whole build of cobblestone. That's not going to happen uh, today. But maybe, you know, at least being able to make a few that we can use, you know, for barricade types of things. Um, oh, I think Terry Lynn also told me that I can get brass hinges from taking doors apart because I was asking about why isn't there a, uh, a mold for that. So thank you, Terry, for that, too. Um, we have a little bit of concrete mix, too. So so we'd have to come up with sand and we'd have to come up with and I don't have a working cement mixer. Yeah, I don't think that's I just don't think that's feasible, you guys. Unfortunately, I don't think it's feasible. So what that means is we're going to have to hold up in a POI again for Horde Night. I have no other choice. There's just no nothing else I can do that I can think of off the top of my head that would allow us to fight the Horde. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Actually, I do have an idea. This occurred to me, um, you know, the other day. I was just thinking about it, and I completely forgot about it until just now. I have... I have an idea that might work. Give me a second. I'm going to cut the camera here. Give me a second to look at a couple things and see if I can actually make this work before I get your guys' hopes up and then dash them to the ground. So give me a second here. Okay. I think maybe we might be able to make this work. Um, here's here's what I'm thinking, okay? Um, if we press I and go into the wrong menu and then press tab and go into the right menu, par for the course. Uh, what I'm thinking is making some wood bars, so we need uh, wood and nails. And then finding a POI that I can cut a hole in the ceiling, be up on the ceiling, and then shoot arrows down below into the horde. 
Um, so if this is going to work, I'm going to have to make the wood bars. I'm going to have to make um, a bunch of iron arrows and probably, um, you know, a couple extra bows for backups because this isn't going to last. And then um, and find a place to actually do this. So, um, let's, uh, let's see. I've got in my inventory here. Let's turn these two nails here into, um, real nails. But we can also, uh, we can also make nails too because we have a mold. So let's grab those. And I put all the molds in here. So we're going to, we're going to want the iron arrowhead, uh, mold, but also the nail mold. So let's get the nail mode f mold first. Talk mouth. Okay, so we got the nail mold. I've got... Oh, man, I don't have much iron in there, do I? Shit. Okay. Uh, iron, iron, iron. Where's the iron? Uh, da, da, da. Are you... Really? I have no iron at all? Wait a minute. Gotta have some iron. Yeah, we've got iron. Not a lot. Shut up, zombies. Okay. Let's put uh, this in here, this in here, that in there. Well, here, we'll get that done. And then we need... Uh, do I have coal? If I had coal, it would be in here. I thought I had coal somewhere. Is it in here? Yes. Okay. Okay, let's wait for this glass to finish smelting, and then we'll split this stack here. Okay, so let's get that iron smelted. While we're waiting for that to happen, and then I'll, then I'll make some more nails, um, we're going to want probably a little bit more wood. So let's... Let's kind of get away from the zombos. Now, the other thing we got to do is we got to find a stout enough place to stand up to a Ravenhurst Day 14 horde, um, but still be able to shoot down through the roof. And we got to punch a hole in that roof, too. So, yeah, no problem. We can handle this. Um, ooh, what about, what about if we go back to the... To this police station place that we were originally at but uh, because this is the building itself is really stout right um but can we find a place like on the second floor rather than up in the attic to make this work because i'm not really concerned about the building as a whole coming down and look there's actually as a whole as in you know w-h-o-l-e hole there's actually a hole already there. To oh, yeah, this could work, you guys. This could work. Okay, let's get all the sleepies out. Oh, shit. Where'd you come from? You mother. You can't be running like that. There's no reason for you to be running. I haven't done anything to you to piss you off to get you running like that. Dude, you got to follow the rules. What in the hell? Okay, let's run this way. I mean, I can understand why Ronnie McDee is running because, you know, we thumped him in the eye with a bone shiv and he's not very happy about it. Can't blame him for that. You need to go down. All right. You're pissing me off now. You did. Okay. Let's get the Zekers out of the way first. They're just going to be a pain in the ass. And if we got to work around here... We're further ahead just killing them than trying to draw them off. It's not going to be worth the hassle. Okay, we finally took care of those yahoos. Son of a... Uh, do I have anything for healing? Not really. We could eat some food. Yeah, let's drink some of that, too. Okay, so... I'm um, not entirely sure we got all the sleeps out of here, but now I see we got some more, but... Most of those zombies were just the group that the... Mod spawns in on me. So let's get rid of these damn sleepers, too. Yeah, I knew you were going to do that, Nurse Nancy. Look at all you son of us. Okay, here. Let's take them back outside. We need to kind of stay a little closer to the to the building, though, so they don't repop. 
You guys are being a pain in the ass. I've got a horde knight to get ready for. See, this, this could work. I mean, it's a little bit bigger than I'd like it to be, but we could probably deal with that. Oh, shit. Oh, not good. He tagged me. Oh, shit. Don't hit me. Oh! Oh, I thought I, I thought I had that one reloaded. Oh no, you guys, we died. <sighs> well, we gave it the good old college try. We killed a hell of a lot of zombies in the process, though. And I've actually got two levels. Well, it happens. It's Ravenhurst. It happens. All right, let's um. Let's get uh, our food and water back to good. I'm just going to grab both of these. Oh, we need to get... Um, let's get a new bone knife. And I have... I should have primitive repair kits. Gun repair kits, primitive repair kits. Oh, maybe I don't. Maybe I've used them. All right. Well, here. Let's... um. Let's get this one down here. And we'll get our, our food and water back up as we go back to get our stuff. Ah, that was unfortunate, but, you know, whatever. Let's just keep moving. Let's just keep moving. It takes so damn long to clear that many zombies, you know. It really does. Um, And we can't, you know, we can't have sleepers in the building that we're going to be doing horde night in that isn't going to work so there's my stuff here okay so let's see does this game put all my shit back on my body yeah it does some games do some don't okay let's go back in here again and you know, the other thing, too, is we, we got some tough Zombos on that run, too. We had a couple of fatties. We had two bikers. Those guys are a little harder to kill than the, the usual run of the mill, you know? All right, let's make sure the rest of the bottom floor is clear. Uh, we're going to have the same batch again, aren't we? Okay, well, at least we have um, our knife now, uh, or a working knife that we can use to bleed them out, so it won't be quite as hard as it was before. I am so impressed with the effectiveness of the knife, you know, the, even just the shitty bone knife. It's worked so well for me in this series, you know. And I can't wait until we can get a real knife. You know, how much more effective is that going to be? Okay, you should be going down any time now, buddy. Tough mother. Okay. Now, we had Fatso and another biker. It's going to be the same group, but like I said, we should be able to kill them a little more effectively now. All right. Come on, dude. I think we knifed him once already, too, so... Look at that big old belly jiggling. That's just disgusting, man. Absolutely disgusting. All right, he's going to go down. Biker's trying to get get around him. He's going, get your fat ass out of my way. Will you just drop, please? Thank you. Goodness. All right, he should be dropping. Let's help him along his way. There we go. Okay, 
Is that it? Can we proceed now, please, game? What the hell is this? <laughs> um, yeah, we don't have time to loot. We don't have time to loot, except for let's just look in here because we might actually find something drinkable. Yeah, right. Like that was going to happen, right? Okay, so bottom floor is clear, but it's actually not the bottom floor we need to worry about. It's the top floor. And this is going to have to, we're going to have to do something about this. But let's, let's get the top floor clear first. Um, you know what, though? Actually, this little square here is a better prospect. Okay, I don't think there's any sleepies up here. At least not on this side of the building. This is kind of an interesting POI, actually. Okay, that's a sleeper there. All right, so we got a few more. Um, these are all normal Zeeks, though, so at least they're not going to be super hard to kill. So let's take them out. Wasn't there another one? I don't know. Okay. Let's go back upstairs. Yeah, we still have more. How many more is the question, though? I hear at least two more. What is this, like a hospital or something? All right, here, let's do this. Let's press the I key, first of all, because that's what we do, right? It's exactly what we do. Um, no, I had it right the first time. Okay. Well, that door's locked. She's dead. Okay. Come on, lady. I don't have all day. Get a bleed on you and then pitchfork your face. Pitchfork sandwich. Delicious. Lots of iron. Okay. Let's pick up our barricades. I think we have finally cleared this building. Oh, Lord Almighty, it's 1130 in the morning. It took that long to do it. Get our barricades here. look in here because we can uh, oh there we go that was worth worth looking in there wasn't it um, anything in here no okay so we finally have control of the place now let's check in here because I could use some bandages um, okay that wasn't bandages uh, I'll look at all those covers and all that stuff later maybe all right, so we're not going to use this open area because it's too big, but one of these here, too, is actually ideal uh, for what we need to do. So, uh, but the biggest thing we got to do first before we do anything else is we got to get rid of their pathway up here. And unfortunately, that's 5,000 hit point concrete, which sucks. Uh, okay, so that's got to happen first before anything else happens. So let's get the pick out and let's get the red T out for... Um, for stamina boosts and go to town on breaking this shit out of here. So what's the fastest way to do this? I think probably this is, well, see, these are already almost broken. Uh, that one's partially broken. This one is really well on its way. So I think we might as, oh yeah, look at that. Okay. The zombies actually help us out here. So yeah, let me, uh, let me get the bare necessities of this ship broken out and then I'll bring you back and then we'll go from there. I hope we have enough time. I'm a little bit concerned about, you know, our time at this point, but we'll do what we can. I'm going to eat one of these for a stamina boost, too. All 
All right, guys, I'm back, um, and I got these uh, broken out. That should be adequate to prevent uh, Zombos from uh, jumping up there, and I can further um, discourage their AI from thinking that they could even jump up there by taking some frames and put them, putting them uh, right... Yeah, I don't want to put them there. I guess what I want to do is I want to put them like this, right? Yeah, so that way, you know, they they don't think that there's a way to get up there uh, in terms of just their AI itself. Um, and then I'll, um, is there a, a glass there? How come that doesn't go in there? There it goes, okay. And then I'll, I'll just, I'll get those upgraded. Can I do that right now? Yeah. So this, you know, th these blocks aren't going to prevent zombies from breaking then that's not the point the point is to make their ai think that this isn't any any type of a pathway to get up there but we'll upgrade them anyways uh to there okay so that should that should take care of that i also ran around really quick and just made sure that there wasn't another pathway uh to get in here either and one thing i'm thinking about doing is i might actually put my bedroll in this place um or, no, you know what we should do? We should put a land claim block here to prevent repops and just use the bedroll for the roof because the bedroll should also prevent repops uh, up on the roof of the salon while we're still there. Or not the salon, the booby trap. Okay, so the next thing we got to do is um, we have to. Oh, let's see. I, I think what the next thing we need to do is get our bow repaired because I got to thinking, I got this really nice, I mean, it's primitive, but in terms of its quality. I got this really nice blue boat, and it's and we should try and repair this and just use it and then get a bunch of iron arrows made. And then depending upon our time, if we still have enough time, uh, I might go ahead and try and do the wooden bars. But if worse comes to worse, I can still shoot the zombies uh, by standing behind the railing that's in there. So we don't need the wooden bars necessarily, but I think they would be helpful if we can pull it off. But I think the next priority is to get enough ammunition made, arrows, iron arrows made, so that we have... You know, so we can fight him and actually, you know, try and kill some of them during the Horde Night itself. So that's the next thing we're going to do is get some arrows going. And we have the mold and we should have enough iron to make a decent number of iron arrows. So let's get started on that next. All right. So let's see. We got, um, I was going to make some nails, but let's hold off on, on that. So um, let's get the arrow mold and get that in here i do like the the whole you know mold mechanic I, it's very realistic and i think it's cool all right how many iron arrows can we make in total um arrow iron arrowheads 246 um whew. i mean we could actually burn through all of those yeah you know let's do it what the hell let's just do it and then i'm just gonna have to farm up some more iron um, you know, later on, which which we can do. Okay, while we're waiting for that, let's get a couple things put away in here. And um, like I said, if we have... Well, you know what, though? Hold on a sec. If I do want to make some nails, I need to save some of that iron because I'm not going to have time to go mine iron. Uh, so... For the... Okay, so for the... For these, we need four nails per wood bar. I should have counted how many we need, but I'm going to guess we need about 12. So that means we're going to need 48 nails in total. So let's actually make those first. Just so we have them. Uh, here we go. Um, let's just make like an even 50. And then after that, we'll, we'll just turn the rest of our iron into iron arrowheads. Okay, so... Now, do I have extra? Yeah, I've got a few extra, and I've got extra iron arrows themselves in here. We do have a backup bow. Um, this is a gun repair kit. This is a military armor repair kit. So what is the... Does this just take the primitive? I'm guessing it probably does because it's a primitive bow. Yeah, it takes the, rep uh, the primitive. So let's just make some primitive repair kits, and we'll just keep repairing this one uh, since it's the highest quality bow that we have. It still sucks, but, you know... You got to work with what you got to work with, right? Okay, so primitive repair kit. What do we need for that? Primitive repair kit. We need wood, 
stone and fiber cordage. Okay, so we have wood here, stone and fiber cordage, which we don't appear to have any cordage made up. But we can do that. You guys have to give me points for consistency about pressing the I key, okay? Give me points for consistency. You can at least do that, right? Uh, I don't know. Let's make 30 of those, I guess. Okay, how are we doing over here? Okay, so we got the nails done. Let's put this back in here, and then we're going to just turn the rest of our iron into arrowheads. Okay, so let, let's let that go. We should have plenty of feathers. I've been, you know, we've got tons of feathers, so we do. Uh, primitive repair kits. I don't know how many of these we're going to need. How many can I make? 12? Since they're so cheap, let's make 10. Okay, so that's being done. And we're going to grab, see, we got tons of feathers. So let's just grab all of the feathers that we currently have. And we're going to, I, I, I wish I could assemble a shotgun, but I don't have the barrel. I've got the parts. I got the stock. Um, I don't know. Is there like a, four, it's been such a long time since I've, since I've done this in seven days. Cause this is old school seven days. I like it though. I, I, I like the idea of assembling a gun. Um, okay, so what are we doing? We are making a few uh, some repair kits here. Okay, let's grab those. So we have those in our inventory. Now let's grab as many uh, nails as we currently have the or not nails, I'm sorry, uh, arrowheads. And we're gonna probably need sticks for that, right? Arrow. Um stone arrow head, iron arrowhead mo arrow. Okay, wait a minute though. Can I make iron arrows? Thumplerite? What the hell is thumplerite? Never heard of such a thing. Yeah, we can make them here. We just need to make the shafts. Okay, so for the shafts, um, shaft, 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 arrow shaft. Here we go. Uh, so we need sticks and we need feathers. Okay, so let's get sticks. Uh, I have one stick. Look at that. Look at us and our bad selves. Okay, we're going to have to make some more sticks. So, let's see. How? Whoops. How many sticks can we make? We can make a total of 333. Um, let's make 250. Um, I might have to actually go get some wood now because we need wood for, um, you know, for the wood bars if we, if we get that far. Okay, let's grab those. We're going to turn this off. And we have a total of 199 iron arrowheads. So we really just need 199 of these guys. Oh, my goodness. Okay, that makes... Wait, though, how many does the shaft... How many does the shaft require? It takes two. Okay, so we got to double up on that. Gotcha. Okay, so we need about 400 in total sticks for this to work. Okay, so here, let's do this. Let's cancel that. Um, because I want to, I want to go actually cut some wood while I'm waiting for this, you know, to maximize our time. So we get two per, right? No, we get three per. Okay. So if we need 400, that means and we have, we've already got a hundred, uh, this too much math, man, too much math. So 50, 150, 250, let's do like 75. It's going to be in the ballpark, not perfect, but I hate doing math. It's just all there is to it. You're going to have to love me anyways, those of you who are math people. I am not. I am who I am, and you have to accept me for who I am. Yes, you do have to. You don't have a choice in the matter. You have to. Okay, anyway, let's put all that stuff away. Uh, put that away. Put this away. Uh, we'll keep the nails on us. I don't need the stone. Uh, let's put the food in here. Uh, those, we should keep these on a toolbar in case we get bled out. These can go in here. I'm just trying to make some space here, people. Make some space. Uh, the feathers. Uh, let's put the feathers away for now, too. We'll, we'll grab them when we come back. Because I, I just need to make sure we have enough room to, to do everything. Okay, I'm going to go cut a couple of trees. Uh, it is 4.30 in the afternoon, so uh, we're doing okay. 
I, I, I'm not at the point where I feel like we're ready to go yet, but I think we'll be okay. So I'm going to cut some wood and I'll bring you back uh, when we're ready to continue from there. Okay, let's take and put uh, uh, or turn all of these logs here into wood. That'll give us 135, or no, 270 pieces, which is good. Um, and now we've got uh, the sticks. Uh, let's go grab the feathers again to make the arrow shafts. Just going to grab them all because I'm not going to do math. <laughs> uh, all right. Now, arrow shafts. 174. So it looks like we may not have the exact amount of sticks. Oh, you guys were telling me also in the comments that you can turn you can turn these into survival mix. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to start hanging on to those. We're not going to do that right now, but uh, yeah, I'm going to start hanging on to that stuff. Tree bark's going to go in here. That's a resource. Um, that's a resource. I think I'm keeping this kind of off-the-wall stuff in here, I guess, for now. And so, yeah, we didn't quite make enough sticks. Um, I'm going to actually, you know what I'm going to do too? I'm going to press the I key and then we're going to use one of our repair kits to repair this. Uh, oh, wait, I think we just need bones to repair that. But it dropped it down to 159. So we lost a hundred durability, unfortunately, but that's okay. So we'll, we'll just use these up until they're almost completely broken and then We'll switch to this if we haven't found something better, uh, you know, since then. All right, now, I um, almost think I should make another one of these workbenches, man. Um, let's cancel the rest of this wood because we've got to get going on the arrows. Um, I can make more wood later as needed. Okay, so that's going to take about a minute. What time is it? It is 5.30 in the afternoon. Okay, so we're still doing okay. We're doing okay. We're not. In, we're not in a bad situation yet. <laughs> Notice the use of the word "yet" there, right? Okay. Um, what should I do while I'm waiting? I guess let's go make some wood frames. Let's go over and make some wood frames while we're waiting for that, and see how many of those we can get made up. I think I did enough nails for twelve, if I remember right. Uh, no. Where? We gotta go. Where's the saw at? I've got it marked. Oh, it's, yeah, we're, we're heading right towards it. Okay. Okay, let's make uh, wood bars. We can make a total, uh, let's make 14, just in case I miscounted something or whatever. Um, and then we got that done. So that's going to take about a minute. Um, did I happen by any chance bring a shovel with me? I did not. Darn it, because then we could have uh, harvested some of the cobblestone while we were here. Okay. Well, I'm going to wait for these frames to finish and then head back uh, to the base. I'll meet you guys back there uh, to get the arrows started. Okay, so we have 348 arrow shafts, and uh, we should now be able to make the iron arrows. I think we have everything. We okay, there we go. Yeah, we can make all of them. Okay, very good. So that's going to take four minutes. That's not too bad. Um, all right, and we have a few arrow shafts left over, so... Yeah, my math sucks. That's all there is to it. I'm the first person to admit that. I'm the first person to admit that. Okay, so let's see. What's next? Uh, we can't... Can we queue up uh, the wood behind these guys? We should be able to. Okay, yeah. So let's get that wood going with our remaining logs. And we don't need the feathers or nails any longer, so we'll put those away. Okay. Okay. Uh, now what we're going to do is, what do I need to make a new land claim block? So I think this sleeping bag will cover, um, whoops, cover uh, this whole area to keep, you know, prevent spawns. Um, let's put it back down up uh, there. Okay. So that radius, I think it'll be enough to cover the roof. If it doesn't, you know, if we get one or two sleepers up here, we do. We kill them. It's not that big of a deal. Um, okay, so for land claim block, let's see. Do we need, like, all kinds of degrees in engineering to make that? No, we just need five stone, like normal. Okay, cool. So let's go here. Uh, stone, stone, stone. Where's the stone? Stone. 
we'll shift that around. Okay, so whilst we're waiting uh, for all of that, uh, let's go back to... Uh, let's go back to the horde base and uh, get the wood bars set down, and then we'll come back and grab the arrows and stuff. I never checked this bookcase. Nothing. Okay, so this is going to be the killing floor here. Um, do I have torches? Yeah, let's put let's put a torch there so we have a little bit of light. Okay, now we want to put these down. We got to rotate them. What if we do an on face? Yep, perfect. Ah, darn it. It's going the wrong way. You know what? Whatever. I can't afford to break it and redo it. They're too expensive. Okay, so we need to make six more. Um, I don't know if I'll get that done tonight, though. Um, but for future reference, if we end up using this place again, uh, we need to make six more. Okay. What? How did we get more sleepers in here already? That's bullshit. And where are you? Oh, I'll bet you they're upstairs. Okay, yeah, that's all right. If they want to stay upstairs, I don't give a shit. Okay, let's go back through here. And go get the rest of our stuff. Okay, I want to uh, quickly make a few more uh, wood frames, too. So... We might not be able to do that. Is there any, there's no iron left in here. Shoot. Um... Okay, let's grab the nail mold. I'm going to take and melt down these pipes because I can easily, you know, remake them later if I need to. Okay, we'll put the arrow mold in here. Don't need these extra sticks. Okay, so we have a hundred and a little over uh, two hundred arrows there, which is good. Uh, we'll put the bow. We're not going to be using the, the bow knife on Horde Knight. We're going to be using the bow as our main weapon. Um, so yeah, let's just get this in here so I can make a few more nails and make a few more frames. I think we need is it four nails per frame? Okay, that gives us twelve nails. Wood frame block. Um, oh, yeah, 12, 4, 3. Yeah, see, I told you my math sucks. 2022. Let's make a few more. Okay, let's go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Okay, so um, I've got seven frames. So what I'm gonna do is just temporarily put them here so I don't accidentally fall in the hole uh, and then later on we will uh, you know we'll make some more wood frames to finish that out if we decide to use this setup again okay you guys um, I think we are as prepared as we can possibly be uh, let's take our other torch and put it somewhere too so we have a little more light because it's going to get darker um, can I stick it I uh, guess, guess we'll just put it up there. Okay. Um, I kind of was wanting to remove those couches just so they don't have stuff to stand on. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it really quick. Really quick. Because I don't want them standing on this and then beating on the ceiling, you know what I mean? Hopefully those zombies we just heard are upstairs. I'm not really worried about any other area of the of the place except for just the area that we're in. Plus, this gives us some cloth and twine, which is really good. All right, Zombo just came off the roof out there. Just skater punk. All right, let's get our um. 
Let's get this going for here. Dude. Oh, shit. Come out here, guys. Okay, I think that's good enough. I was hitting on that, but it's really strong, so I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, I think we are as prepared as we can be, guys. So, yeah, Horde Knight 14 on Ravenhurst coming up in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Wish me luck. We're going to need it. Bye-bye.